Look at me. Saved people can be tempted by the devil with thoughts. You can go to church, say hallelujah, sing the songs, worship God, hear from God, be on cloud nine and walk to your car and on the way, the devil can tell you a lie. That person doesn't like you when that person isn't even thinking about you. That person is so wrapped up in themselves with all due respect. Don't flatter yourself. They're not thinking about you or anybody else. They're thinking about themselves most time. You say, really? They're not thinking about, no, they're not. You have that thought, I'm worthless. Worthless? I know that's not so because Jesus died for you on the cross. You're worth his life. Don't tell me you're worthless. I know where that came from. So what, what do you do? You live in the Bible. You learn the truth of Scripture, not just so you have a bunch of stuff in your head, but so that you can know when it's the devil and when it's the Lord. So anything that contradicts Scripture is the devil. If you're at work and you feel like that you ought to have some inappropriate relationship, look at me, that ain't God. Will God understand? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And you're not getting away with it. The only reason you had not been caught is because God's giving you time to repent. But if you don't, he's going to let the hammer fall in time. You haven't gotten away with anything. Nobody ever gets away with any sin any sin. And so the devil lies to us. And I, I heard one preacher say, you got to learn to smell the devil. If it's not biblical, it's not true. And if it's not true, it's from the father of lies, who is the devil. Don't tell me that the devil can't talk to you. And he does. So you say, what do I do? What do I do when I have a temptation? What do I do when the devil tells me something that is in direct contradiction to the word of God? Here's what you do. Here's what I do all the time. You may not say it out loud. If you're by yourself, you can say it out loud. If you're in a crowd, you might want to just say it down under your breath or think it, whatever. But you say this, that's not true. I reject that in the name of Jesus. I'm not going there. Not today. <laughs> no, I'm not going there today. And, and then just quote a scripture and say, greater is he who is in me than he is in the, in the world. You get tempted to do something. If you sit there and say, you know, this, something bad's going to happen. No, no, God, God's, my, my life is in the hands of God. God is, God is preparing the way for me. And, 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 and even if I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear for God is with me. I'm not, I'm not going to live in fear. I'm not going to live in discouragement. Those things may come as far as Troubles and everything else, but God's going to go with me through my troubles. And if, if the devil tries to tell me that I'm going down, I'm going to say, no, I'm not. I'm going through. I'm going up in the name of Jesus. I'm not just speaking positive things. I'm speaking the word of God, which is anti-lies from the devil. And some of y'all say, I'm just not going to live like that. And then you're going to get beat to death by the devil. I'm telling you, the devil is beating some of y'all up so bad it's unbelievable. This relationship will never be any better. It's going to get worse. That's not God. God says, you pray in faith and I'll do things and I'll do things. I'll move mountains. I'll change people's hearts. I'll change situations. There is nothing impossible with God. Nothing impossible with God. And some of y'all have been, I, I'm, I'm stopping here because some of y'all have been taking the devil stuff long enough. Isn't it about time that you say, I've had enough Fear. I've had enough discouragement. I've had enough lies. I'm not going to live in the lies of the devil. I'm going to get in the Word of God, and the Word of God is truth, and I'm going to get God's Word in my heart, and I'm going to start fighting with the sword of the Spirit. When Jesus got tempted, the only thing he said was, it is written. Say that with me. It is written. Three times, poke the devil with the sword of the Spirit, and the devil left. He doesn't like to be poked. If you'll get with this, you don't have to live like you've been living. 